Welcome everyone to the John Root Paleontology Laboratory here in Bismarck, North Dakota. I'm Clint Boyd, Senior Paleontologist with the North Dakota Geological Survey. Over the next couple of years, we're going to be doing some additional preparation work on the main body block of Dakota, the dino mummy. And so we're going to be producing a series of videos allowing you to follow along as that work progresses and learn about all the new discoveries that we're making. Dakota was discovered in 1999 by Dr. Tyler Leeson, who was a teenager at the time prospecting private land in southwestern North Dakota. He came across a set of articulated, or still in place, tail vertebrae from Dakota coming out of the hill. Initially, they marked the location of this discovery, but did not have time to actually work on it until several years later. When they returned to the site, they realized that not only were their bones preserved from this animal, but also the three-dimensional skin. Excavation of the specimen took place in 2004 and 2005, and the specimen was returned to Marmoth, North Dakota to a nonprofit organization called the Marmoth Research Foundation. In the spring of 2008, Dakota arrived at the North Dakota Heritage Center and State Museum under the care of the North Dakota Geological Survey. The specimen has remained at the Heritage Center since then, either undergoing additional preparation work or on display for the public. The preparation of fossilized skin is a very slow and methodical process that takes many years to complete. Though the specimen has been under the care of the North Dakota Geological Survey since 2008, preparation is still ongoing and many areas of the skeleton remain covered with rock. Initial work on Dakota focused on the tail section and the right arm, which was separate from the rest of the specimen. Once that initial work was completed, the tail section and the right arm were put on temporary exhibit outside the old Corridor of Time exhibit at the Heritage Center. While those pieces were on display, preparation work moved on to the larger and more complex body block. After several years of work, the full specimen went on display in 2013 in the hallway outside the new Geologic Time Gallery at the newly renovated Heritage Center. That exhibit was intended as a temporary exhibit to get the specimen on display so people could see the progress that had been made on the specimen thus far. In 2018, the specimen was taken off display again so that it could undergo an additional round of detailed preparation work. During this new round of preparation, the initial focus was on completing the preparation of the tail, the right arm, and the separated left foot from Dakota. Those specimens were fully cleaned up and put back on display in 2021 in a new exhibit. Upon completion of this more detailed round of preparation work, the tail section, right arm, and left foot went back on display in the fall of 2021. However, the body block remained in the lab and is the focus of continuing preparation efforts. The layout of the specimen within the body block is complex and difficult to interpret on first look. The specimen is currently laying on its right side from the base of the tail through the hips. Just in front of the hips, the specimen is folded back over onto its left side in contact with the lower legs. Unfortunately, we have not discovered any portions of Dakota's skull or left arm in the block, and it is quite possible that those portions of the skeleton were never preserved. At this time, it appears that the preservation of skin is restricted to the area around the hind legs and over the hips, and the front half of the specimen does not have any intact skin, except on the lower extremity of the right arm. Over the next two years, we will be working to remove additional rock from the body block portion of the specimen and expose the skin and bones underneath. We have several goals we hope to accomplish during this new work. The first goal is to expose more of the specimen and get a better understanding of exactly what is preserved with Dakota, how it is preserved, and how it is laid out within the block. This work will be done both by experienced preparators, but also with seasonal interns who will be working, learning how to do this type of work on such an exceptional specimen. The second goal of this work is to learn more about the chemistry of the rocks preserving Dakota, as well as the chemistry of the bones and the skin themselves, to see if they can tell us more about how this excellent specimen was preserved. The final goal of this project is to prepare and examine an articulated crocodilian hand that was found just underneath Dakota's skeleton. The hand is well preserved, 
and we are interested to see if it also preserves skin, or if skin preservation is restricted to Dakota itself. The presence or absence of skin on this crocodilian hand will give us clues to the processes that led to the preservation of skin on Dakota. As we conduct this work over the next few years, we will likely learn other things about Dakota beyond these goals. If you want to see and learn more about Dakota, come to the North Dakota Heritage Center and State Museum on the Capitol grounds in Bismarck, North Dakota. Funding for this project was provided in part by the David B. Jones Foundation.